Brazil has announced a probe of U.S. spying efforts inside its borders. A report based on documents provided by Edward Snowden says the National Security Agency has tapped into Brazil's telecommunication network and indiscriminately intercepted, collected and stored the email and telephone records of millions of Brazilians for years. The Brazilian government will look into whether local firms cooperated with the United States. Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff said if confirmed, the NSA operation would be a violation of national sovereignty. It is definitely a violation of sovereignty, without a doubt, just as it is a violation of human rights. Now we have to see, without rashness or prejudgment. We have to investigate. Brazil's position is very clear and very strong. We do not agree in any way with these kinds of interferences, not just in Brazil, but in any country. President Rousseff says her government will also raise the spying issue at the United Nations in the hopes of securing new international protections for privacy rights. In its latest article, based on Edward Snowden's disclosures, the journalist Glenn Greenwald reports today that NSA spying has extended to all of Latin America. After Brazil, Colombia appears to be the second biggest target of NSA surveillance. One NSA document suggests the surveillance covers issues of trade and economics. A priority for Venezuela was listed as oil, while energy was assigned to operations in Mexico. Snowden's believed to remain at an airport in Moscow. On Monday, Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro confirmed he's received Snowden's official asylum request. Maduro said asylum offers from his government, as well as from Bolivia and Nicaragua, show that large parts of Latin America are becoming a humanitarian corridor. We received an application letter for asylum from Snowden. He will need to decide when to fly here, if he definitely wants to fly here. The fact is that Latin America is humanitarian territory, and it's growing every day. On Monday, thousands of people rallied outside the U.S. Embassy in Bolivia to protest last week's forced landing of a plane carrying Bolivian President Evo Morales. The plane was rerouted to Austria after France and Portugal barred it from their airspace over false suspicion Snowden was on board. The Bolivian government has asked the European countries involved to reveal the source of the false information. The dispute comes just as the U.S. and European Union have opened talks in Washington on creating the world's largest free trade zone. The negotiations were briefly thrown into doubt last week after it emerged the U.S. has been spying on European Union offices and member countries' embassies. We'll have more on NSA spying with a newly released interview with Edward Snowden after headlines, and then we'll be speaking with the Ecuadorian foreign minister, Patino.